Oh no, so I just recorded this whole thing and then I realized I was on pause. So here I am. Let's start with two deep breaths. Lesson 259, let us remember there is no sin. Sin is the only thought that makes the goal of God seem unattainable. What else could blind us to the obvious and make the strange and the distorted seem more clear? What else but sin engenders our attacks? What else but sin could be the source of guilt demanding punishment and suffering? And what but sin could be the source of fear obscuring God's creation giving love the attributes of fear and of attack. Dear Father, I would not be insane today. I would not be afraid of love, nor seek for refuge in its opposite. For love can have no opposite. You are the source of everything there is, and everything that is remains with you, and you with it. Thank you, God. Amen. Let us remember that there is no sin. I was just listening to a Kenneth Wapnick video and, and he said, you know, he was discussing prayer and what we should ask for, how we should ask for direction from the Holy Spirit. And he said, basically what resonates, has always resonated with me is that you don't ask for specifics because even a parking spot, because that's, that is of the ego. And um, the the best thing you could ask for is forgiveness and for a return to love because everything else is of the ego, is is ego demands and it's it's based on fear and it's not of love. So I really enjoyed that and wanted to share that with you. Um, anyway, I love you. We're gonna take two deep breaths and have a beautiful day. Thank you. Let us remember that there is no sin. Thank you, God. We do not want to be insane today. Amen. Love you.